guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm carolyn and welcome to another week in my life on the disney college program i'm currently walking through the dak parking lot because i forgot to film before i left my apartment this morning because i'm running a little bit late um quick little six hours at the theater uh not opening not closing just existing for the 11 through 4 o'clock shows which is always fun but I have to walk all the way back to Africa and it's so far because I have to yeah parking is at the very front of the park and I have to walk all the way to the back which is a lot of walking for someone who has to stand for six hours straight but it's good I'm heading in I'll let you go oh car I survived my quick little six hours at the theater it actually was like a fine normal day but it was cold and drizzly and gross and rainy like just about all day like i clocked in and then like an hour later it just did this like gross drizzly rain like it was never raining that hard but it was just like mm, gross so i came home and i wanted to make myself a cup of hot chocolate and evidently i don't have hot chocolate so i made myself a cup of tea but i do have chocolate milk in the fridge so once i'm finished with my tea i'm probably gonna pour myself a cup of chocolate milk. What happened today? Absolutely nothing of note. I was roving the cues a lot. I was in that position maybe two or three times today. Oh no. And then... I don't know. It's really the only thing I can think of. Like I said, um, it was a fairly calm... Let me set this down. It was a fairly calm day at the theater. The rain it wasn't raining super bad like people just kind of i mean they came to the theater they came <sighs> i was the main usher for like the two o'clock show again which for whatever reason the two o'clock show everyone in the park wants to come see that show don't know why actually i know why it's because there's no one o'clock show and then park hopping begins at two so everyone wants to watch the two o'clock show but it was fine like i said it was a very uneventful day it was just gross and cold and rainy literally all day <gasps> my pizza didn't cut all the way through that's sad i'm trying to rip this in half now but i had a pizza cutter and everything there we go oh i found a new crafty project that I'm very excited about, but we'll get working on that a little bit later this week, um, just because I don't have all the supplies yet. But I'm like, I'm, I'm planning. It's a, it's an embroidery project, and I haven't had an embroidery project in a minute, and I'm very excited about it. Um, so I think my day off this week i'm gonna go like get supplies and get this started which will be fun i love crafting but i'm just like planning it all out now while i eat my dinner yeah i think it'll be cute but like i said a lot of lot actually not a lot of things just a couple of things yeah um, I'm, I'm clearly rambling, but nothing happened at the theater today. I found a new craft that I'm excited about and I'm going to eat my pizza because I'm rambling. Yeah, that, that's, there we go. Tea, I'll do a chocolate milk. Yeah. Today is my Friday for the week. Once again, I only have one day. Are we shocked? But today's my Friday for the week. Slept really good last night that alarm hit me hard it is chilly in here i'm going to turn the air down yeah my alarm woke me up very abruptly this morning because when i'm going into my shift today is normally when i'm waking up for my other shifts i am opening which i like opening it's fun but it's a rude wake up call, but I get to sleep in tomorrow, you know? So yeah, I am opening, but not closing today. I'm I'm opening to loading the five o'clock show. I'll load the five o'clock show and then I'll go home. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. A little bit groggy, but in a good mood because it is my Friday. You already know what time it is. I'm sitting in front of my shower. Time for a daily recap. 
I don't know what happened. I feel like, oh, I'm starting to lose track of things that happen at the theater. Like, the days are just like very similar, if that makes sense. Like, I'm watching the same show like seven times a day, six days a week. So everything like runs together a little bit. So yeah, that that's what's going on there. I was inside most of today. I do know that. I can say that with confidence. I was inside most of today, which was very nice. <clears throat> Sorry, just throwing garbage away. What else? Put on a cozy sweatshirt when I got home. Oh, it literally rained for I kid you not 30 seconds. Like 12:10 straight downpour for 30 seconds. And then it was beautiful and sunny the rest of the day. Um, so if that's not the most Florida weather you've ever heard in your life, I don't know what is. Did I get yelled at today? I don't think I got yelled at today. Just the usual, you know. Hi, we're, we're only five minutes late for our lightning lane. Uh-huh, yep, we're still five minutes late for our lightning lane. So, so why did why did I buy it? Um, I don't know. But you remember when you booked it? It said you had from this time to this time to show up. Yeah, that happens every day. Although I wasn't at lightning lane today. Where was I? Oh, I was at the standby line. Yeah, I was at the standby line. The person who how many for the two o'clock show, which is a really fun show. So we have to wait for Lightning Lane to close. Like we send in some guests and then we just have to have everyone wait until Lightning Lane closes because they like bought their seat basically and it's guaranteed if you show up on time. So we just have to hold the regular line. And it's so awkward just to stand there and like, so what y'all do in Animal Kingdom this morning? <laughs> it's a little bit awkward, but it was fine. I did not get yelled at there. Uh, just got a lot of please, please, only five more seats. No, nope, we have no seats. Please, only five more seats. We we don't have a single seat, much less five. Which I, I feel like that makes sense. Also, one thing the Harambe Theater does not have is standing room. We do not have a standing room policy at the theater. Once the seats are filled, there's literally nowhere for you to stand. You're also not allowed to stand and set the you have to sit down. Like, that is your option. You can sit on the bench or you can not watch the show. Oh, this is what happened today. I had to go down on the floor and run across the stage. I mean, not like across the like stage stage and then the show, like the birds were flying and the cast member on the other side of the stairs isn't allowed to move at this point in time. So I had to go down the stairs and run after this woman who was trying to exit to go to the bathroom, but was exiting out the door that we can't exit out of, not just when the birds are flying, but when the ever. So that that happened today. That that was the main thing, was that like, I had to go run like across the stage to go get to her. And I, I did, I, I got her, I got her out the right door and then the still walker gave me like a little like, on the back and I was like thank you so that's what happened today I think the hair about sums it up mostly put together but just a little bit frazzled I'm gonna go get in the shower and I will talk to you tomorrow when I do not have a single thing going on happy Tuesday everyone I am not headed to a park today. What is this? I have the day off and I'm not going to a park. Instead, I am going back to Hobby Lobby so I can get some of the crafty supplies for the new craft that I want to work on. I have most of them, but I gotta get a couple and I like going to craft stores, so I thought I'd make a morning of it, you know? So, let, let, let's go purchase craft supplies. <laughs>
got what I needed to get, somehow dodged a colossal thunderstorm, treated myself to lunch, but now, um, actually let me turn my car on, uh, gotta go back to my apartment, actually be a grown up and get started uh, working on my little crafting project. because I got the email to check in online for a doctor's appointment that I've been waiting months for. Nothing crazy, just like I have to find Florida doctors and this was just like an appointment I've waited months for to get like Florida doctors. And so I click on the link to check in and it says, you know, the link's no longer valid. Please call this number. So I called the number and they said, oh, the office canceled your appointment. You have to call the office to figure out why and I can't call the office because they're closed. <laughs> Seriously, why can't I schedule appointments, you guys? Like first it was the car place and now it's the doctor's office. Why can I not schedule appointments or why when I do, they're three months out and then like they're canceled. Like seriously, what have I done? Um, you're so far, I've made it on my crafty project so far because this is, distracted me, but uh, this has turned into a very stressful day off and I can't do anything about it until tomorrow before I go into work. Fun. Alrighty, I do need to start driving into work but um, I have had a morning this morning. So I woke up like way earlier than normal so I could call the doctor's office and be like, hi, um, I waited a month for this appointment. Why is it saying, or why are y'all telling me it's canceled? And they went, yeah, it's canceled. We let you know. And I said, no, you didn't. I never got a message that it was canceled. And they said, yes, we did. We have it in our notes. You got a message that it was canceled. And I said, I never got a message. Why was it canceled? Because um, I still need it. Oh, the provider on call canceled it. Why? Oh, they canceled it. Why? They canceled it. Okay, who is the provider on call? Oh, they're the provider on call. Oh my God, I, they they wouldn't accommodate me. They I I got a little Disney guest at them. I say Disney guest, basically just anyone who's like, what the heck, la la la. And sorry, I'm drinking my little breakfast yogurt smoothie. Um, they were like, we can get you her next appointment, and I said, okay, when's her next appointment? August twenty second. I, I already waited a month for this appointment. Why did you cancel it? Oh, the provider on call canceled it. Her next appointment's in August. So they scheduled me for the August appointment and then I immediately um, had a little mental breakdown, called another place, ironically in the same building as this one, like in the same little office complex. And they said, yeah, we can get you in tomorrow. And I said, okay. <laughs> So now I have an appointment at 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow before I go into my shift at 11. So my anxiety might be a little high, but you know what? I got an appointment. They're going to refill my prescription, which is the whole reason I needed an appointment in the first place. So, yeah. I'm not happy. I am not thrilled. But I really need to start driving into work. Something felt very off about today like I just felt off all day at the theater and I think it's because I'm still like distracted by all this appointment whatnot because uh, I don't know I just felt like off all day today nothing particularly happened um actually never mind I had a woman completely lose her mind on me because she missed her lightning lane by like seven minutes or something um, to the point where she 
uh, took note of my name and we had to, yeah, there's looking, there we go. We had to notify guest relations and be like, hi, this woman's coming, probably. Um, she missed her lightning lane, that's what she's mad about. So that then happened today. Here's my little progress update. My little crafty projects actually before I get too invested. What else? I ping ponged inside and outside a lot today. Like every time I went inside, like boom, boom, boom. I was back and forth, back and forth all day today. They're redoing our break room. So we couldn't use it today, but they got us a new fridge. That's nice. Yeah, like I said, I just felt very, very off today. And I think it's just because of this morning and me being distracted by all this appointment what not which i'm tired of adulting you guys i moved to disney world so i'd stop adulting or so i could run around and be a kid in the most magical place on earth all day every day which in fairness i do but adulting sucks and i'm tired of it but i need to um you know like eat my dinner i'm munching on it but i have more than bell peppers so yeah just not bad just off oh i also got um poured on by the way out of work today did not rain all day but like could not see my hand in front of my face that's how hard it was raining got completely soaked even though I had my rain gear so I'm trying to dry my shoes and I put on my pjs so I could try to dry my costume yep we were just off today it feels like Florida today but um I am off to my appointment wish me luck I need this to go speedy so I can make it into work on time. The appointment did not last as long as I thought, so I killed some time and got breakfast at Panera. Um, also to treat myself a little bit for being an adult, but now we're in the DAC parking lot. It's time to go to work. <laughs> we got off work. I'm very sweaty. My hair is falling all over the place. I think that's about right. I was inside for about, uh, I'm gonna say 80% of today, which was fabulous. But the point of time in which I was outside, um, it downpoured. And granted, I didn't get downpoured on because I was in like a covered spot. People go crazy when it downpours and uh, rules me nothing. Um, but now I'm uh, gonna drive over to Flamingo Crossings and hang out with Kelly for a minute. Uh, I think we're doing dinner. I don't know. Point is, I'll talk to y'all when I get back to my apartment. Maybe. It is the next day. I did not film when I got back to my apartment because I got back to my apartment very late because we got dinner. We went over to Flamingo Crossings to hang out in Kelly's apartment. We ate dinner and then we just like sat and watched. Talia and I recently introduced Kelly to the magic that is Bluey. And um, yeah, basically we sat in her apartment for a very long time watching Bluey and eating dinner and just like chatting and gossiping and whatnot. But yeah, it was fun last night. Yesterday was a start to finish long day. It was a very long day yesterday, but I'm going in slight, actually I'm going in earlier than I did yesterday, but I get to leave my apartment later than I did yesterday because I don't have the appointment. It's a quick little six hours. I'm just working the 11 through four o'clock shows. We're not doing the 10, we're not doing the five. Yeah, I leave right as the four o'clock lets out. So that's really nice. We did a braid again today because yeah, she's cute. I don't know where else I'm going with this other than I'm stalling driving into work and I really shouldn't because I'm just like slightly behind. Not dramatically, just like slightly. So I, I should maybe drive. I am once again sitting on my apartment floor eating dinner. My hair is a freaking disaster. Oh my goodness. I should like braid portion held up, but 
My bangs did not want to stay in place, did they? Okay. Can y'all tell I do not look in a mirror when I um, am at work or when I get home from work? Because I'm always like, wow, I look like death. And it's like, yeah, I just looked like six hours in 100 degree weather. Of course I look like death. I'm just, yeah, I'm sitting here on my floor eating my dinner. I got some pineapple, some chicken. It's a good time. Got pineapple in my, in between my teeth there for a second. Um, let's see what happened at the theater today. The question I ask myself every single day. It didn't rain. As I was leaving the theater though, I was tempting fate because the sky was black behind me. But actually like at work, it did not rain. And to be fair, it still hasn't rained, but I really thought it was going to. Uh, what else? What else? I spent like the first half of my shift inside the theater. And then I spent the second half of my shift like outside. So I still kept that like 50-50 ratio. Just like instead of bouncing in, out, in, out, it was just like in and then out. What else? Oh, we're, we're gonna do something here. So I had a super sweet, I was at Lightning Lane, actually a decent amount today, but I was at Lightning Lane and a super sweet family stopped by and they were like, we watch your videos. And their daughter got into the Disney college program and they gave me this cute little keychain. So the Murray family, if you are watching this, thank you so much. Um, I, I love it when y'all come and say hi to me. It makes me, I'm glad that people watch my videos and I'm glad that they help, but just know that your cute little balloon is gonna stay on my water bottle permanently. It, it, it's the newest addition. So yeah, <laughs> that was really cute. What else? I hope y'all enjoyed the show. <laughs> now here's the part where I forget what days or what days and I don't remember what happened today or yesterday because as I said, I know I've said it previously. The days run together. I'm watching the same seven hour show six days a week, getting yelled at about the same things every single day. So like they run together a little bit, which is why only like these like major moments stick out because honestly the day today, I could not tell you like did not get socially groomed today. That was do um honestly at this point i'm just used to getting bugs picked off me by the monkeys uh just about every single show did not happen today i can't remember the last time i didn't get like literally it's like here we'll, we'll demonstrate on chip because i notice he's in the frame yeah every single day I'm used to it. Jump scared me real bad there in the beginning and now I'm like, oh, what's up guys? Um, as if I have interactions with them outside of being monkeys. I don't know that I know anything else. Honestly, this was the highlight of my day. This was the major thing that happened today was the highlight of my day. I didn't, I mean, I got yelled at, but like, I don't remember a particular instance where I was like, mm -hmm, yep, I'm gonna take note of this which is always good because that means I didn't get yelled at super dramatically. But in the meantime, I am gonna let you go cause I need to eat my dinner and then I need to edit this video cause I'm approximately, what's today? Friday? Is today Friday or Thursday? Whatever day it is, I have not edited it up until this point. I just have a bank of clips that I have not touched and I acknowledge that like this video is not going live um, the Monday after I finish filming. Like I acknowledge I have a week to edit it, but I do videos every week and I need to stay on top of it. And I just haven't been. I'm also realizing I haven't done anything Disney this week. I've just gone to work. Didn't go to a park or anything. Ah and I have no plans to this week. I have a couple plans next week. I'm definitely going to a park next week, but uh, don't know that it's gonna happen this week, but you know, this is a realistic week in my life on the Disney College program. And granted on the first program, I went to the parks like every single day, but the parks are always there. I can go to them whenever I want. So I don't need to go this week. I did other fun things, non-Disney fun things that are probably only fun to me. 
but this clip is getting really long and I want to eat my chicken tenders. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. It is already disgustingly hot out today. I'm heading in for another little six hours. Uh, what am I doing today? I'm working the 11 through four o'clock shows and I'll load the five and go home. Um, but yeah, it is already swelteringly hot. And I have a feeling it's going to be a very busy day at the theater because yesterday, or actually not yesterday, this morning on Threads, Disney Parks posted in the Festival of the Lion King, which section is superior? And then a lot of people commented and liked it. Um, so we might be very busy today, but it was fun that they uh, posted about us. What else? I don't know, I felt like wearing makeup today, so I have on mascara and lip gloss. Don't know why. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna regret the decision with how hot it is, but you know, I was feeling it in the moment. What else? I feel like there was one more thing. Oh, I may or may not have to get gas today. The uh, the rental car has got lipstick on my teeth. The rental car has absolutely terrible gas mileage. So yeah, I, I I'm ready for my old car. I'm ready for my car to be fixed. I mean, the rental car is fine, but like I want my car back. It's not fixed yet. I got hit back in April. Can we talk about that? I got hit back in April and July's almost over and I still haven't got my car back. Good times. I'll contemplate them at the theater. It was a little bit of a day at the theater. Let me mute my TV. I have on a show. Ow. I didn't even stop myself with the needle. I stopped myself with a little plastic sheet. That's stupid. I put on a show um, called Mysteries at the Museum that my family and I used to be obsessed with and I haven't seen it in forever. And I saw it on the TV guide and I was like, oh my God, it's Mysteries at the Museum. It's not like Night at the Museum. Uh, they like show a cool artifact in museum around the country's collections. And they're like, this is the story behind that artifact. A little progress update. We're making progress. I mean, I still got like, the whole body of the angel, but a little bit of a progress update for you all. Yeah, I think I said it was a little bit of a day at the theater. I guess we're just nasty, like more nasty than they've been in a while. Like I had a guest go uh, to guest relations on me because I told them that you don't have to have a lightning lane to watch the show. And he took that to mean you don't have to have a lightning lane to use the lightning lane. Yeah, don't know, don't know what happened there. Security called on another guest. Another guest passed out because she didn't have anything to eat or drink today. That's a real common one. Um, when you're on vacation in Disney World, um, have like food before you go stand in um, like a hundred degree, like direct sunlight, you know? I feel like that just makes sense, but I don't know. What do I know? What else? Sweet little girl came by the theater today dressed as Nakawa. She was so excited to show me her costume and I was like, oh my God. I it was spot on. It was incredible. It was so cute. I'm trying to think. Honestly, the main thing today was just like, guests were nasty. Like we somehow handled it, but they were just very, very not nice today, which was not, you know, like the best way to end this week because I guess today is Saturday. So this ends, you know, another week of my life on this Disney college program. I did nothing fun this week or I did nothing parks fun. Um, I did stay at home fun. This is fun to me. Can't wait to uh, try to come up with a thumbnail for this video because I, I did nothing. So so it might be interesting. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, yeah, this thumbnail might be, might be interesting. But either way, I suppose I will let you go. I don't have anything else really to add. It was just 
it was hot today and guests were very displeased that it was hot. So yeah, thanks for following along. Another week in my life on the Disney College program. I acknowledge this was a very boring week, but it was a very relaxing week for me as well. You know, I'm working six days a week. I've pretty much been working six days a week every day for the last two and a half months. And you know, my body just needs a break sometimes. So anyway, I have more fun like Disney parks things planned next week. But in the meantime, I will go ahead and let you go. I'm gonna put that there. I hope you all enjoyed following me along even though it was so boring. And I will see you all again real soon. Bye.